in the last classes we discussed uh, introduction to c programming the basic structure of a program the different data types and how to use printf and the basic structure of a program a simple c program etc so let's move on to the next comment that is scanf that is used to read the data from the user in the last programs we discussed we assume two values say to get the sum of two numbers we can assume that a is equal to 20 b is equal to 50 and you add a and b but in the real case we need to get the value of a and b then only you can do something you can operate on those values so the first step is get the value from the user for that we use the function or we use the uh, command called scanf and syntax now you know the uh, word syntax. Syntax is the format that we use. So, scanf control string. This symbol is important. Ampersand sign. And variable 1 and variable 2. And up to how many variables you can add based on your requirement. Bracket closed and a semicolon. So, based on this, you tell me the syntax for printf. What was the syntax? To a similar in printf double quotes control string control string within double quotes comma variable 1 comma variable 2 comma how many variables you want you can extend then bracket closed and semicolon so the main difference is here you directly give variable name here you have ambassador sign so that is one major difference while using printf and scanf. Printf is used to print something. Scanf is used to get the value from the user. Okay. So these are the syntax for printf and scanf. Then what is the use of scanf? Giving values to variables by inputting data through keyboard using scanf function. The control string contains the format of data being received. I used another term in the first class that is format specifier. Okay, format specifier is included in this control string. This format specifier is included in the control string. What is format specifier? For integer we use percentage %d within double quotes. Similarly for float we use percentage %f. Okay, so these are format specifiers if it is character it will be percentage c like that for string it is percentage s so just remember this so scanf it is used to get the data from the user and another thing that's important is when you give the names of variables ampersand should be added before the variable and what is the significance or meaning of ampersand symbol it specify the variable name address for example, if I say a is equal to 20, what is the meaning? Say int a is equal to 20. For example, if you are considering a 16-bit machine, int consists of 2 bytes. Okay. So, at some location, when I say int a, there is some location say 2040. This is the space reserved for a. And when you give 20, that value is written here. Similarly, if I write say int a, what will happen? At some location, this space is reserved but value is not entered. And what you are doing is scanf within control string percentage %d, comma, ampersand a. So this means address of a. Address of a is here. And when user gives some value say 30, this 30 will be saved in that location. So, this ampersand stands for address of A. Ampersand A means address of A. It specifies the address or memory location of the particular variable name. Okay. So, what happens when the scan of statement is encountered? The execution stops and it will wait for the value to be typed in by the user. It will wait for an input. Only after you type a particular value in keyboard and you press enter, that value is taken. Then only it will proceed with the execution. And in control string, percentage %d specifies integer value, percentage %f specifies 
floating point so percentage d means the integer value is expected and we have to type the integer value once the number is typed in and return key the enter is pressed computer will proceed to the next statement so to make it more clear we will proceed with the uh, program so hash include stdio.h void main function we are starting the main function then with an int a printf first user needs to be uh, i will give you an example we are learning scanf right so if we are avoiding this printf then i will show you what will happen if i am not including printf then i am directly giving scanf control string that is percentage d we are expecting an integer value and after double quotes we write say ampersand that symbol is important ampersand a so when user give a value it will be saved at address of a and now we are saving it as a c file when we execute c user is not informed that it is waiting for a data it will be like this so naturally user and programmer will not be the same so user should be informed that we are waiting for a data so that is the importance of a dialog box so here i am the programmer and i am the user so i know that it is like waiting for a data say i give to 34 it is entered so to check if it is entered we can give a print printf slash n the data entered by the user is percentage d can give a okay so we can check if it is saved so again user is not informed still we know that we, it is expecting a data so i give 456 the data entered by the user is 456 so now you are uh, convinced why we are giving a printf prior to scan if that is for the user to be informed so in printf what i can give just some comments like enter a number enter an integer because we are expecting an integer so enter an integer you can give like this okay so now again you are executing what's the difference now user is informed that it is expecting a value so print a fender and integer means first the dialog is shown now the user is clear that it is expecting an integer say i give 125 data entered by the user is 125 for the requirement scan if is sufficient but to make it meaningful you have to give a print if prior to it so that is especially mentioned here in most of the cases scan if is preceded by print if requesting the user to enter a value that is shown in the last code this is known as prompt message and it appears on the screen like enter a value and this is another example called print of enter an integer number scan of percentage d this is called control string and variable name is number this number ampersand is used in case of scan of then if and else we will learn later it is conditional statement but just uh, remember the english meaning if number is less than 100 if if the value is less than 100 it will give a print your number is smaller than 100 else print your number contains more than two digits because less than 90 100 means 9 till 99 it is two digits so else if that condition is not satisfied it will print your number contains more than two digits so this is a, just an example code to get an idea of it okay so when you scan of two things should be remembered one ampersand is important address of operator should be added before the variable name and the type of data it is expected should be given in the control string okay these two things should be remembered while using scanf hope it is clear so we will move on to some sample programs